Hi everyone, I'm JotaroKujo79 and in this video I'm gonna show you the first part of my PlayStation 4 game collection. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos that will help you with your collection every single week. Also let me know in the comments how many PS4 games do you have in your collection and which PS4 game are you currently playing. But let's start! The first one is Among the Sleep. It's a first person adventure game where you will play from the perspective of two years old between dreams and reality. Scored 66 on Metacritic. I bought this copy new and sealed a uh, uh, few weeks ago for 10 euros and of course I haven't played it. Next one is Battleborn. It's a first person hero shooter developed by Gearbox, the creators of Borderlands. Uh, where you can play the single player campaign either alone or in cop with friends and there is also a pvp multiplayer similar to overwatch uh, like borderlands has a cell shaded graphic and the game scored uh, 68 on metacritic i completed the campaign and it was okay but i couldn't really get into the multiplayer uh, this cop is new and sealed because i sold the game when i finished it and uh, one month ago i found this one for five euros Battlefield Hardline. It's a first-person shooter developed by Visceral Games in collaboration with DICE. Uh, with this one they try to do something different, at least for the campaign. And it's the first battlefield that is not set in a military world, but instead a battle between cops and criminals. Uh, the single-player campaign is structured as a TV show with each chapter uh, as a new episode and I played a compl and completed the game and I will give the campaign a 6 out of 10. Uh, while I cannot judge the multiplayer because I haven't played it enough. Many says uh, that uh, it's actually a reskin uh, of Battlefield 4. The next one is my favorite game on PlayStation 4 and is Bloodborne, Collector's Edition. Um, it's a PlayStation exclusive. I, uh, the game is an action RPG developed by From Software and scored 92 on Metacritic. Uh, now, of course, takes a lot of elements from the Souls games, but combine everything with a unique art design and style. Uh, this was also the first Souls game that I played, and maybe that's why it keeps a special place in my heart. I think this is a game that every PS4 owner should at least try. I paid this collector's edition uh, 35 euros and contains the steelbook and the art book. Deception 4 Nightmare Princess. It's an action strategy RPG and is the updated version of Blood Ties, released on PS3. The game scored 69 on Metacritic. I haven't played it yet, so I can't tell you too much about it. The next one is Diablo 3, Ultimate Evil Edition. Developed and published by Blizzard is an hack and slash action RPG loot-oriented game. Uh, that scored 90 on Metacritic. This is the first Diablo that I played and I really enjoyed playing it. I finished the campaign with two different characters, the Wizard and the Witch Doctor, and there are people playing this game an entire year. Uh, this is not my case, but I really uh, recommend this game to anyone. I paid it 10 euros. And it contains also the last expansion, uh, Reaper of Souls. The next one is Dino Dini's Kickoff Revival. It's a PS4 exclusive and is a revisited version of the classic arcade football game of the late 80s. I remember playing it back in the days on the Amiga 500. Uh, this game actually um, scored only 31 on Metacritic and I can recommend this game to anybody, at least you were a diehard fan of the Kickoff series. Moving to the next one, Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Uh, it's an online RPG with turn-based combat. Uh, the visual reminds me a lot of Diablo 3. The game scored 88 on, on Metacritic. I haven't played it yet, but when I'm finished with Borderland 2, uh, it will be probably the next game I will play. Next one is Dragon Age Inquisition. 
developed by Bioware, the creator of Mass Effect. It's an action RPG, the third installment in the Dragon Age franchise. I completed the game just two weeks ago and it took me more or less 50 hours. Uh, it was my first Dragon Age and actually enjoyed the game. Um, it's a solid RPG with a lot of dialogues and choices and the cool thing is that you can always take with you three companions uh, from different classes, the wizard, rogue and warrior. And you can swap them uh, uh, during the battles. The next one is Dying Light, developed by Techland, the creators of Dead Island. It's a first person survival horror action adventure, uh, scored 74 on Metacritic. I completed the game uh, one year ago and I was really surprised how good the game was uh, from the story, the graphics, the combat system and the character progression. Uh, you can play the single player campaign alone or online with your friends. And this game has been actually banned in, uh, in Germany and actually this is the Peggy 18 Austrian version. I paid it 15 euros. The next game is Either One Limited Edition. It's a first person puzzle adventure narrative driven game uh, and the studio that made this game is formed by only six, six members. Uh, scored 75 on Metacritic. I bought this steel book edition for only uh, 9 euros. And I haven't played it yet. Next one is Evolve. It's a first person shooter with actually no single player campaign and with an asymmetrical multiplayer structure. Uh, basically there are 5 players in each game, uh, 4 as hunters with different car classes and roles and 1 playing as a monster that must be hunted down. The idea and the co uh, core gameplay was interesting but in long terms was a disappointment due to the lack of content from a game released for full price. I paid it only 5 euros and this is the French version with slip cover. The next one is Flockers. Uh, it's a colorful platform puzzle game, very similar to the Lemmings. And basically you have to escort a cattle of ships from A to B without letting them dying. Again, uh, an indie game and I bought it for 6 euros. Next one is Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. It's an action RPG, remastered HD version of the original Final Fantasy game for PlayStation Portable and it's a spin-off of the Final Fantasy saga. Uh, this porting scored uh, 72 on Metacritic. I haven't played it yet, so if you played it, uh, please let me know what you think about the game. Well, the next game I think needs no presentations and it's Grand Theft Auto V. It's an open world action third person shooter. The PlayStation 4 version was released in 2014 and it's still in the top 10 charts worldwide. I played and completed the game more than one year ago. I really think it's one of the best game I played on the PlayStation 4 and with Rockstar it's always a guarantee. They always deliver good game with good quality. Uh, I bought this copy one week ago, new and sealed, for 15 euros. And it was an amazing uh, deal because the game is still over 30 euros. The next one is Gravity Rush Remastered. It's an action adventure game originally released for PS Vita and remastered for PS4. Um, you play as Cat and you can control gravity. Uh, the game has a cell shaded graphics and it has really interesting concept. Um, received positive reviews scoring 80 on Metacritic. During the, the past holidays I started to play it on the Vita and recently uh, a sequel came out. But I want to finish this one before jumping in the second chapter. Uh, it's maybe not a game for everyone but you, uh, it's definitely worth a try. The next two games are PS4 exclusives and are Infamous Second Son, an open world action adventure game, third installment in the Infamous franchise, and where you control uh, the protagonist that has uh, superpowers. Uh, you can play the game as villain or as hero. Uh, I completed the game, I will give it uh, 7 or 8 out of 10. And the other one is 
his standalone DLC in Famous First Light, where you play as Fetch, a character of the main uh, game. And this DLC is uh, nothing special, it's rather short and has more uh, missions or challenges instead of a real story. It took me maybe 4 or 5 hours to complete it, but for 10 euros is, it was okay. And uh, as a collector I actually like this uh, standalone retail DLC. Just Cause 3. It's an open world action adventure game, the third installment in the Just Cause franchise. Uh, the game scored 73 on Metacritic. I played this game at the release and it was really hopeful. Full of bugs, uh, glitches, very very long loading time on the PS4. I actually sold uh, the game um, one day later and I bought this recently, this uh, Steelbook edition for 9 euros. Next one is Killzone Shadowfall. It's a first person shooter developed by Guerrilla Games and it was a launch title for the PS4. Uh, it's the sixth installment in the Killzone franchise and received generally positive reviews scoring 73 on Metacritic. I completed a single player campaign and it was not bad although I have to say that I liked more the Killzone 2 or 3 uh, on the PlayStation 3. This one uh, is really cheap now. I paid it only 6 euros. So this was the last one for today. Next week I'll show you the second part of my PS4 collection. If you like the video, clicking the like button is not a bad idea. And if you want to see more of these episodes, subscribing is the best way to stay tuned on my channel. Watch also my previous videos if you missed them. And see you next time.